What's up guys, my name is Doug, welcome to the channel if you are new, welcome back if you are not new. Today we're going to be giving you a listen to Logic and Eminem's latest track, Homicide. It's going to be a really cool collaboration, I'm sure. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fast rapping, I'm going to be following along with the lyrics just in case I miss something. Uh, I'd really hate to miss anything, you know, especially since it's my first listen. And uh, whenever I do miss something, you guys always get at me in the comments section. Uh, so, I'm trying to avoid that. I'm going to be reading along and uh, I'm, I'm hoping not to miss any of the content that's in this track. You know, I've heard, I've heard some mixed reviews on it. Uh, I've heard some people say that it's, it's kind of corny. I heard some people say that it, it starts off slow and gets better. Um, so we're going to see for ourselves, you know, just a really quick video. I'm glad you guys are here today and uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm not going to waste any more of your time with this introduction. Let's just jump right into Homicide by Logic featuring Eminem. Uh, and I've also heard that at the end there's a Chris D'Elia feature that sounds pretty funny. So, uh, yeah, man, let's just get right to it. Son, you know why you're the greatest alive? Because you came out of my balls, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right, so right now we've got a, a really cool beat. You know, it, it sounds a lot like. Uh, the same lane that he goes in whenever he does the uh, Bobby Tarantino tapes, you know, just a really aggressive uh, rap beat, and he goes real fast on this. You know, his flow is is pretty insane right now. So far, it's just been kind of like a flex track, you know, and uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it, that's just you know one of the observations. You know, he's said a lot, but he hasn't really said anything. Like he's mentioned the, that he uh, he's coming at the haters for criticizing him. Uh, by saying, can you even rap? So it's like, I don't necessarily agree with that logic um, that somebody has to be able to rap to criticize a rapper's music, you know, or his catalog. That, that doesn't necessarily make any sense to me. But, you know, it, it's the way that he sees it. And uh, yeah, basically he's just been coming at his haters and flexing so far. We call this shit genocide. Hit them with that doo doo doo. And they die. We gon' leave them crucified. We call this shit genocide. So rap, call it yourself the greatest alive. Then you don't deserve to do that. No, no, oh, no, no, please do not do that. You gon' get sick. Like Jay Z. Jiggas up, you fuckers with the right aim. You're getting washed. Like baby. Everybody goes limping. Slumps over like A Rod in a month low, but he just homer. But I wrote over my opponents and said making dark sounds. Cause I gotta keep breaking these bars down. I'll go slow for the spit. First of all, Chris D'Elia is one of my favorite comedians, and if you haven't seen Man on Fire, you should definitely go watch that special because it is one of the best comedy specials that I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's ridiculously funny, man. He's just extremely hilarious. Having him on the outro is just so funny. I, I, like, it's, it's awesome to me that Eminem actually saw those videos and, and, uh, and, and he, he saw the humor in them. You know, he didn't take any offense to it, which would have been really lame if he did. Um, so I'm glad, I'm glad that Chris D'Elia is getting his, uh, his spot on this track right here. Um, look, man, honestly, it's a flex track. Um, they don't necessarily say anything. There's not really a message to it other than we are real rappers and that makes us better than you because we write our own raps while you sit there and criticize us and you either don't write, write raps at all or have someone else write your raps uh, and so we're better than you. That's basically what they're saying here. And Eminem also adds, you know, the flex that he's rich and he wipes, uh, he wipes with six million, you know, and uh, what sticks out to me here is, of course, Eminem's flow because, it, it, you know, it, it feels like every other word rhymes and that's something that he's always been able to do so well and it's still impressive to me the way that he's able to do it and it feels like he is getting better uh, at rhyming. Logic had two verses. He switched up his flow on the second verse. I thought that that was pretty cool. I actually preferred his slower flow on the second verse. Um, I thought that it was it was cool to hear that you know difference. That's that little something different in the track because his first verse was fast. We know Eminem's verse was going to be fast, so I liked having that little slower paced one. Um, it just it felt like it, it freshened the track up and kept it a little more interesting. The beat on this sounds great. I love the bells going on. Uh, the beat. The bass is absolutely insane. You know, it, all in all, it's not a bad track, dude. It's it's enjoyable. Uh, it's a flex track. It's easy to turn up to because the bass is absolutely insane. 
Uh, if you're a fan of really fast flows and, and really fast rapping, then this is definitely for you. Uh, I really don't think that this is a bad song, honestly. Uh, I do think that the introduction, where uh, apparently Logic is like talking to his dad, uh, was a little weird, a little a little cringeworthy, but you know, other than that, uh, this song is, is pretty decent, you know, I'm not mad at it. If this ends up being on Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, I probably wouldn't skip it, you know? It's a cool song. So with that being said, man, thank you all so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about this track in the comments section. You can support the channel by following my social media, subscribing to the channel, and liking the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. That'd be really dope, too. Uh, I'm really appreciative of all my patrons. They help me to keep this channel alive uh, and help me to produce the best content that I can. And with all that being said, I'm going to be back in another video very soon. Probably going to do some throwback videos, you know, go back into uh, Travis Scott's discography. We have Kendrick Lamar's discography to get to. You know, so we've got lots of videos coming up. So I'll see you all very soon. Until then, stay safe. Peace.